My dear brothers and sisters, I wish to welcome you to the 23rd Sunday in Ordinary Time. Today, I'd like to remind us that God's love is universal. God loves everyone because He created everyone. No matter where you come from, north, south, east, west, sinner, saints, God loves you. And God is concerned about your well-being. God is concerned about your welfare. Today, in the Gospel, according to St. Mark, Jesus healed the man who was deaf and mute, a man who had obstacle in hearing, in listening, and impediment in speech. He could not speak because he could not hear. This miracle, this healing miracle, is very, very symbolic. Of course, Jesus healed so many other people, those who had leprosy, those who were crippled, those who were lame, those who were blind. Jesus healed many people. But this healing took a process. This healing was quite different. Jesus put his finger inside the ear of this man. Before he did this, he took this man away in verse 33 of Mark chapter 7, Jesus took this man away from the crowd. Of course, you know that in the words of William Buckley that, you know, um, people who are deaf are usually embarrassed when eventually you've been talking to them and you suddenly discover that they could not hear you and they could not speak, blah, 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 blah. you know, it's quite embarrassing. And Jesus demonstrates his considerateness. He did not want to embarrass this man in front of everyone. He took him by the side. Now, as I said, this healing is quite symbolic because in the words of Pope Francis, he speaks to us about the interior deafness of our hearts. Because Jesus came to reconcile humanity and divinity, and he is the word of God, and it's quite necessary for us to listen to him. Many of us have ears, all of us, almost all of us have ears, but only few people listen. People listen to ask questions, people listen to make arguments, people listen to make excuses. Only few of us listen to understand. So there's this deafness in our hearts. There is this obstacle, there is this impediment in our hearts that we have closed our hearts that we don't have time to listen to God. And because we are not listening to God, we are acting in every wrong way. So today, in the healing of this man that was deaf and mute, Jesus heals us. That thing, that obstacle that prevents us from listening to the word of God. Jesus heals us from that. So you can imagine in your family, in your relationship, that everyone always wants to talk. But only few people will like to listen. Because listening is an expression of love. Listening is an expression of humility. Listening has to do with self-giving. It has to do with kenosis. It has to do with a lot of discipline and attentiveness. So, the Lord comes to us to heal us. We have to look right inside us. What is that thing that prevents us from listening? In the second reading today, St. James mentions the reality of discrimination. Many of us do not listen to other people because when we see people, we see them as people from this race. We don't see them as children of God. We don't see them as images of God. And that's why we try to, you know, put people in different classes. But for God, all of us are the same. God is concerned about all of us because he created us. No matter where you come from, no matter what you have done in the past, the love of God will never diminish. It is our sin that form eclipse between us and the blessings of God. But as for the blessings of God, His blessings are eternally present among us. But we may not see the blessings because our sins form eclipse between us and the miracles that God has prepared for us. So, St. James invites us also today to do away with this obstacle, to do away 
with discrimination and understand that everyone is equal. So as we receive healing from Jesus, we should also extend the same healing to other people by at least welcoming everyone, seeing everyone as images of God. That everyone is equal. No matter my color, no matter your color, we all bleed red blood. And we are all the images of God, irrespective of our pigment. So, dear brothers and sisters, in our first reading today, God says to us, Don't be frightened. I will restore you. I will give you freedom. I will give you total healing. And he says, Those who are blind, those who are deaf, those who are hopeless, all those who need justice, those who are oppressed, those who hunger for food. In our response to our psalm, David also tells us the same thing. The Lord comes to set us free. Those who are in captivity, those who are blind, those who are demoted, those who need restoration, the widows and the orphans. The same thing, the first reading, the response to our psalm, repeat the same thing. That God comes to set us free. And this was fulfilled in the gospel today. No matter what is making you like those who are blind, you cannot even appreciate God, you cannot appreciate yourself, and you can't even appreciate other people around you because you have this interior blindness. That everything you see every day is just negative. There are those who are crippled, not physically, but they are crippled internally because of hurts, of the past. They are crippled because of the burden they carry. They are crippled in their sorrows. Their sadness crippled them. So all these things the Lord comes to set us free. And that's why Jesus, looking up into heaven, groaned. He could feel our pains. Jesus stands in solidarity with us. He could feel the pain of this man. That's why he looked into heaven and he shouted and proclaimed, Epheta, be opened. That's your interior heart. That thing that has blocked you from listening to your wife, from listening to your husband, from listening to your parents, from listening to the word of God, from listening to children, to those who are poor, from listening to the young people, from listening to those who have nothing to offer. The Lord says, be opened. Let everything that is making you think that you are greater and bigger than other people, let that thing be removed so that your heart can be opened. My heart can be opened so we can listen to other people. A good speaker must be a good listener. We can never speak well unless we begin to listen. And there is this love in our hearts. God has implanted this love in us. If only we can stop for a time and listen to the voice of love in us. I tell you, we'll be free, we'll be happy, we'll be joyful, we'll have peace of mind, and we will surely look upon other people as gifts from God and not as curses. And remember that the healing of God is a process. It is not something that is automatic. It is a process. So be patient, be calm, and eventually God will grant you to, to freedom from whatever that is keeping you impeded, whatever is hindering you, whatever that is making you to be stunted, God will release you. Be patient and keep on praying. I wish you a blessed Sunday.